Welcome back everyone. In the last video, we learned how to mimic component did mount with use effect. In this video, let's learn how to make use of the component will unmount functionality that is possible with the effect hook. To get an idea of why we need something like component will unmount, let's take a look at an example. For this example, I am going to create a container component for this hook mouse which we implemented in the last video. In the container, I will simply add a button that will toggle the component's visibility. Let's get started. I'm going to create a new file called mousecontainer.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the React snippet RFCE to create a functional component. I'm going to import use state from React and create a display state variable. The variable name is display, the setter is set display, and the initial value is true. Next, in the JSX, I'm going to add a button to toggle this display variable between true and false. Button toggle display on click we call set display passing in not of display so we are toggling the display value now if this display variable is set to true we render the hook mouse component display and hook mouse finally in app.js i will only include the mouse container component If we now save all the files and take a look at the browser, we should have a button and the mouse coordinates. When I move the mouse around, you can see the coordinates updating and the log statement is printed every time the mouse moves. Now I'm going to click on the toggle display button. This will effectively unmount the component from the DOM. Now, when I try to move the mouse around, we can see a warning in the console. Below the warning, we can see that the statement mouse event is still being logged. So even though the component has been removed, the event listener, which belongs to that component, is still listening and executing. And this is what the warning indicates as well can't perform a React state update on an unmounted component. It indicates a memory leak in your application. Or in simpler words, React is telling us, hey, you have unmounted the component. But when you move your mouse around, you're asking me to update the state variables for X and Y coordinates. The only problem is that component has been unmounted. When you unmount a component, make sure you cancel all your subscriptions and listeners. In other words, clean up after your component. By the way, this mouse event is being logged from hookmouse.js from log mouse position. This log statement right here. Now how do we handle the cleanup code? If you're familiar with class components, it was pretty straightforward. We had the component will unmount lifecycle hook where we could simply add window.remove event listener mouse move and the handler is log mouse position. But how do we mimic this lifecycle functionality in use effect? Well, it turns out to be pretty simple. The function that is passed to use effect can return a function which will be executed when the component will unmount. So whatever you return is basically your cleanup function. So from this arrow function passed to use effect, we return another cleanup function. Return a function, let's log a statement, component unmounting code, and we remove the event listener mouse move and log mouse position. Let's save the files and test this out. I move the mouse around, we see the log statements. 
I toggle display and you can see the statement component unmounting code in the console. This means our event listener is now removed. If I move the mouse around again, you can see that we don't have the warning or the log statements from before. So this is the fourth example. The point to make note of here is that when you want to execute some component cleanup code, you include it in a function and return that function from the function passed to use effect. The cleanup code can be canceling subscriptions, timers, or even removing event handlers as we have just seen. So that is about using the effect hook with cleanup code. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.